I'm always trying to be the best. How can I stop with the fear of being surpassed? I need to know the answer to that. 2. What worked for me? Understand you aren't special. Don't take anything seriously in life. And do what makes you happy. Know that everyone else is also struggling with your same issue to a degree. So it's actually not a big deal. Also remember your only competition is yourself not other people. Be better than you were the day before. Even if it's in a tiny way. Small progress is still progress. Are you trying to be the best or are you trying not to be pathetic? In any case. Humility will help you a lot. Even if you think that you are the best at something. Don't you realize that's just you trying to live through someone else's perceptions? I'm sure you don't want to be the best janitor. Don't you? Or the best whatever thing you perceive as bad or shitty? Do you want to be the best at knowing yourself and learning how to manage yourself? That's the best thing you can do in fact. And it's the only field in which you will actually be the best. Every couple of weeks someone here asks why do billionaires always want more money when they already have more than they can spend? Well, the answer lays in your mind. They are looking for something to calm a feeling in them and enough is never enough in quad. Many of them lose their humanness when they realize the way to achieve getting more is held back by considering everyone involved. I can't tell you how to stop it. Only those who've lived with it for years and then let it go, would have a chance at explaining it. My guess is just stop letting other people journey control your apostrophe s and quad. The only person you should ever try to top is, who you used to be. Who would you marry if you could marry a celebrity and why? This will probably fly over people's heads but there's a K-pop idol called Choi San. I'm a lesbian. And although I have eyes, and can admit that he's rather attractive, the most striking feature is definitely his personality. Definitely one of the most sensitive, kind and warm people I've seen. Marrying a man seems like a nightmare but it would be tolerable with him. I think. As a sort of friendship marriage. As for a woman I'd marry. I currently have a huge crush on Zoe Saldana. She's very attractive but her personality is even better less than three. Ignoring all the obvious I don't know them so and quat. Then BTS Yonggi. He's hot. Can sing slash rap and dance and all. But I like the personality he shows, at least as a public persona, as well as the thoughts he's openly shared about masculinity and mental health. It's still so rare to hear Koreans and especially men talk about their mental health issues and struggles. And even hinting at criticism when it comes to gender norms is not exactly looked well upon. But he gives zero fucks and says what he thinks. It's attractive and I'd also absolutely need these values and morals in a partner. Also, we're born in the same city so having family in the same place would probably make things more practical lol. Timothy Chalamet. Because he is intelligent. Kind. Ridiculously talented. Well-spoken. Interesting. And we have a lot in common. Plus slash though I suppose this goes for any celebrity I'd never have to work another day in my life and could live in luxury. And also he's literally the most attractive individual I have ever laid eyes upon. So much so I'm not entirely sure he's human. I'm sorry but you don't look like that if you're fully human. Something's up. Anyway yeah. Sign me the fuck up. What's a random quote from your favorite series without telling the name of the series? A common mistake that people make when trying to design something completely foolproof is to underestimate the ingenuity of complete fools. You take a hot dog. Roll it in a pizza. Stuff it with some jack cheese. You got cheesy blasters. And then all the kids say, thanks. Meet cat. And meet cat rides away on his. Ah. Uh, skateboard. And quat. You're in the presence of her majesty. Remove your glasses. And quat. Come closer vampire. You haven't aged a day yet time has not been so kind to me. And quat. Oh just get a job? Why don't I strap on my job helmet? Squeeze down into a job cannon and fire off into job land. Where jobs grow on jobbies. There's only one thing I hate worse than lying. And that's skim milk. Which is just water. That's lying about being milk. And quat. I'm not familiar with your military friend or his fondness for poultry and quat. Well then get your shit together. Get it all together and put it in a backpack. All your shit. So it's together. And if you gotta take it somewhere. Take it somewhere. You know. Take it to the shit store and sell it. Or put it in the shit museum. I don't care what you do. You just gotta get it together. Get your shit together. And quat. Roger. At Cornell University they have an incredible piece of scientific equipment known as the tunneling electron microscope. Now. This microscope is so powerful that by firing electrons you can actually see images of the atom. The infinitesimally minute building blocks of our universe. Roger. If I were using that microscope right now. I still wouldn't be able to locate my interest in your problem. Thank you for your call. And quat. They feel like public schools are becoming more dangerous? I guess if you include the rampant shootings. In America? Definitely. Where do you live? If your answer is the US. Then yes. Very dangerous. What rock have you been hiding under? In what aspect? Danger of being shot? Being bullied? Having access to drugs? Being taught things that contradict your worldview? Are men able to tell when other men are only faking a platonic friendship with a woman? In the hopes that she will eventually want to date him or sleep with him? Yes and no. Sometimes maybe yes and sometimes maybe no now yes could end up being a no and no could end up being yes but it's normally a yes and a no unless the answer is yes but it could be maybe no so the answer in general is yes or no.
It's been my experience that other men generally key in much faster than the women being indirectly flirted with. It's not that women are clueless. It's just that we see guys acting how we do. It can be cringy sometimes. But to their credit, it's not always intentional. Sometimes these men are grinning and chatting a lot because they're smitten. Rather than intentionally putting on the moves. But sometimes it is intentional and my sisters or female friends will be like apparently he was into me. You think? A more frustrating scenario is the guy your girlfriend tells you not to worry about. And you need to figure out if you're overly protective and jealous. Or if she's oblivious. Easily. Yes. Bad mouthing guys she is interested in is a telltale sign. So is constantly switching up his personality because he read some seduction BS in the newest Cosmopolitan. Or getting mad, pissy for no reason every once in a while, that's when his pride slaps him and asks him what the hell he is doing. Or when he abandons self-interest and lets his friend exploit him as an emotional tampon. Or disrespect him. Or leave him hanging. Thing is. A lot of women can tell that too. They just like to torture their friends because their unfulfilled love elevates them. And their own insecurity makes them happy that they get an ego crutch for free. His feelings be damned.